If you guys want to start writing your own co code now and, and put it in a repository in the cloud, it's, uh, you, can, you can watch how it's done inside the GitHub series again. But I just want to mention one thing, and that is um, when you make your solution on GitHub, when you make a repository in GitHub, you should do one thing, because we're working in Visual Studio here. And if I open my folder structure, <clears throat> I just want to show you something, because there's a lot of files we do not look at as good practice to share with others. So if I go in here inside the, one of my projects here, there's a bin folder, an object folder, and those should not be shared with others. Because these files are actually compiled for either a 32-bit version or a 64-bit version. It's compiled for your machine, so it should not be shared. It's what we call binary files. They, are, they should not be put on Git. Okay, So that's why when you create your own GitHub repository, you should do one very, very simple thing. So how do I create a GitHub repository? I've logged in with my user. I click here. I say new repository under the plus sign. When it pops up, there's only one small thing you need to do. You need to first of all give it a name, of course. Uh, da, da 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 That's the name of it. And then you need to go down and select this ignore file right here. I don't know what my machine is doing. There we go. So you go down here and this is the important part. Select a git ignore file and write visual, sorry, let me just scroll down, visual studio. If you do this, automatically git will know all the files it should not share with others, right? So just doing this simple step will add a very simple git ignore file. I'll show you the file that I have that does it so that you'll never have to worry about sharing the wrong files with your friends on your common GitHub repository. Let me just open this git ignore file just to show you because there's a lot of things in here. And this is something GitHub takes care of us, uh, for us. So look at this. I ignore all the debug folders, the release folders, everything that has to do with um, 32 or 64 bit versions. So many things here that they already out of the box know you should ignore when you share your common project with other people. So I just wanted to mention that if you wanted to share your repository with other people. So see you in the next videos where we write some code.